Greetings, my name is Timothy Collinson. I'm the Faculty Librarian for Technology, and this video is going to take a look at the ebook collections that we have in a little bit more detail than the previous video. So if I share my screen with you, um, we'll go to the library homepage, library.port.ac.uk. And if you've seen the video about using the library catalogue, you'll know that we uh, clicked on this big blue button up here and we searched for artificial intelligence. And in that video, we found print books, ebooks, and so on. This time, I'm going to go straight to an ebook, and we'll just take a little bit more detail here um, as to the ebook collections we have. Um, this one will take us out of the library catalogue and into this particular ebook collection. We have several, um, but ebook central is our biggest. I think there's over 200,000 ebooks in this collection, and uh, you'll almost certainly be ending up here at one time or another. Our other ebook packages. They um, work a, in exactly the same way, but they may look a little bit different. So you may just need to explore the features and to find what options you've got there. Here in the middle, you can see that you can read the book online. You might be able to download it and you'll get it for a week if that's the case. That's not an option here. That is not a library decision. That's a publisher decision. Um, we do try to buy books that you can download if possible, but it's not always um, available. And then more and more, you can download a PDF chapter of a book, uh, which won't disappear after a week and uh, you can keep to refer to. Uh, you'll probably get a contents page like that. And if we click on a particular chapter rather randomly, you'll see that that will perhaps give you uh, what looks like the book, uh, as it might do perhaps in print. And you can also see that we can search within the book, perhaps for deep learning. And you can see we're getting 95 results and it'll show you what chapters it occurs in and roughly how many times. So that can be quite a useful little feature. Also, uh, you can see up here that you can print, you can copy limited amount of pages. Uh, you can also highlight text, put sticky notes on the pages and bookmarks if you create a little account, which is fairly easy to do. It doesn't cost anything, but you'll need a login and a password. Um, and those are all useful features of ebook collections, uh, which most ebook collections allow you to do. There's often also a button like this, which is a site button. Um, and this is really useful for doing your referencing. And uh, there's two things you need to know. The first is you need to know what type of reference you're supposed to be producing in what format. This defaults to MLA, but in the technology faculty, for example, you need to select APA or if you get the option APA 7th edition. And you can see there that it's done not a bad job of putting together a reference in the correct format. I would probably take out the space before the colon there, but it's not absolutely critical. The other thing you need to know about the referencing is they're not always, uh, these site buttons rather, they're not always 100% correct. So do make sure that you compare this site button with our referencing at Portsmouth tool, which I'll show you in another video, uh, just to make sure that everything is correct and all the capitals are uh, in the right place and so on. This is looking pretty good with lowercase where it should be, um, initials instead of full first names and that kind of thing. The final thing I'd like to show you in here is perhaps one of the most useful things for you. I searched within the book over here for deep learning, but you could search up here through not just this particular book full text, but you can actually search full text through the entire collection, full text of about 200,000 plus books. So you can see there that now I'm finding 187,000 things. If you saw the video on the library catalog, where I searched for artificial intelligence, we found about 3,300 things. And if we do the same again here in eBook Central, you can see that we're finding 91,000 things. Um, so it's kind of going to be a lot more. And also you can look for things very much more kind of specific. Now, of course, that's way too many things to wade through. So do make sure you learn how to refine your search and we'll explore that in another video as well. So hopefully that's given you a very quick introduction to uh, finding um, our ebook collections uh, and you can do that through the library catalogue. You can do it a couple of other ways as well, uh, but that should let you into our ebook collections. You may need to log in, particularly if you're off campus. Uh, but if you've got any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask us and good luck with your studies.